Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be taking a look at importing files into Logic. So let's say you got a karaoke track you want to sing along to, you got a beat that you want to rap over. There are a few different ways in which you can get those files into Logic and we're going to go over those today. So first things first, you're going to need to have a project open already or created a new project. And once you got that done, you can kind of pick up and follow along. All right, so we're on the tracks content area. Tracks contents, group. Yep, track contents. I'm gonna navigate to track header, viola. The tracks header, group. Interact with this. In tracks header, group. Track, track one audio one, track one audio one, group. So you see we got a single audio track here in this project. So we're gonna start with importing a audio file. So one of the ways to do that, you can just do command shift I. Audio file, open file, dialog, back, dim, button, open file, MPEG, back, dim, button, back, dim, button. And this brings up a pretty standard Mac OS open file dialog box. So I'm just gonna navigate through this with BO right arrow. Forward, dim, button, group, menu button, new folder, button, reference stuff, where, pop up button. And that's the folder we want, so it's a good thing it's already Search there. Search text field, blank, cyber, table, vertical splitter, column view, browser one item selected, ZNVM4, uh, group, one of four. All right, so I'm going to interact with this. In column view, browser, ZNVM4, uh, group, one of four, column one of two, ZNVNP2, M4, uh, group, two of four. And that's the file I want. So now if you know this is a file you want, you can just go ahead and hit return right here and that will bring it into the project for you. I'm going to stop interacting with this because I want to show you another thing in this dialog box while I got it open. So now that I get the file I want to import selected, I can stop interacting. Out of column view, browser one item selected, ZNVNP2, M4, uh, and I'm gonna continue navigating with the right arrow. MPEG, play button. And here's a play button. So if you're not sure if this is a file you want, you can feel space on this play button. Press stop button, press play button. And here are the file and make sure. So that's a neat trick that that's there for us. Options button. All right, there are options. If you wanna see some more options. Cancel button. You can cancel out of here. Open default button. And you can go ahead and open it. So I'm gonna do that and. No, cancel button. Now it wants to know if we want to convert this file because I usually run my projects at 96K. And given that this is an MP3 or AAC file, it's probably only at 48K. So let's jump to the top of this window. Change project sample rate to 48 kilohertz. One or more added audio files have a sample rate different than the project sample rate. Do you want to change the project sample rate to match the highest file sample rate or convert all files to match the project sample rate of 96 kilohertz? Cancel button. So I want to convert this file to the higher sample rate because I don't want to change my project to a lower sample rate. I'm going to choose the convert option. Convert file button. Press convert file button. Now, now in Z project tracks window track one audio one group. All right. So you see we got it imported. So if I hit space. One bar one beat one division. You can hear it again. Track one audio one group. And as you see there, it doesn't rename the track. So if you want to rename this track to match the file name, you can do command option shift n and track one znvnp2 underscore two group now the track name matches the file name and if you want to go ahead and sing along to this or wrap along to it you can create a new audio track and start recording your vocals on that track so now let's look at another way to import files into logic and you can do that directly from finder so i'm going to mute this track for now toggle channel strip mute on and now we're going to flip over to Finder. So I'm going to command tab over to Finder. QuickTime player, Finder. Finder, vocals, window, column view, browser two items selected, main box comp. And vocals, group, six of six, list one item selected. I want the reference stuff folder again. Reference stuff folder. There we go. So I'm just navigating through Finder to find the file I want. I'm going to go in here. List one item. And I think it's the last file in here that I want. I'm just pausing voiceover with control. So I'm going to do option down arrow to get to the last file on this folder. Z original track walk, waveform audio. There we go. And if I do command C to copy this. Copy Z original track walk. I'm going to flip over to logic with command tab again. Logic Pro 10. Logic Pro 10. Z project. Tracks. Window. Track 1 Z and VNP 2 underscore 2. Group. Space with logic. Pause. Yeah, I just pause voiceover. So if I hit return, make sure I'm at the start of the project. 1 bar 1 beat 1 division 1 tick. And now I'm gonna do command V to paste. Paste. Track to the original track underscore one group. And you see it adds a track to the project and automatically names the track to match the file name. And if you hit space bar. One bar one beat one division one tick. 
that you can play that track as well. All right, so that's bringing in audio. Let's take a look at MIDI. Now, MIDI unfortunately does not have a key command like audio does. Audio, we can use command shift I as we did earlier, but for MIDI, you're gonna have to go to the file menu. So I'm gonna press BOM. Menu bar, Apple. I'm gonna press F to get to the file menu. File. And now I'm just gonna down arrow and look for import. File, new command, new from open ellipsis command, close, com close project, save command, save as ellipse, save a copy as a save as template, revert to, sub project alternate, project management, project settings, sub page setup ellipse, print, dim command, movie, sub import, sub menu. There we go, import, and I'm gonna expand the sub menu. Import, sub menu, eight items, logic, pro audio, file ellipsis, command, MIDI file ellipsis. There we go, MIDI, that's what we're looking for, VO space. <laughs> MIDI file, import, dialog, back, dim, button, import, dialog, list one item selected, MIDI, group, three of six. This once again is a pretty standard Mac OS open file dialog. So we're going to navigate through here. Forward, dim, group, menu, new folder, button, MIDI, where, pop up button. That's definitely the folder we're going to grab a MIDI file out of, which is good. Search text field, blank, cyber, table, vertical splitter, column view, browser, one item selected, MIDI, group, three of six. Interact with this. In column view, browser, MIDI, group, three of six, column four of five. D piano one mid group one of five call D piano two mid D piano one mid group one of five and that's the MIDI file I want so like in the audio dialogue you can go ahead and hit return on that to bring it into the project but let's stop interacting with this and explore the window a little bit more out of column view browser one item selected D piano one mid group cancel button import default button and so pretty much all we have here is a cancel and import button you don't get a play button like you do for audio file. import default button so I'm going to VO space on import. Cancel button. And this is asking us if we want to bring the tempo into the project with this. I'm going to press VO home to jump to the top of this dialog. Also import tempo information. This will replace the project's current tempo information in the range of the MIDI file. Consider that the sequencer tempo will get out of sync with any previously recorded audio tracks, unless those are in flex mode. Do not show this message again. Uncheck cancel button. Import tempo button. And this is pretty much set to the same tempo as a project, so it shouldn't be an issue if I import it. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit real space on import. Logic Pro 10 busy. Press import temp tracks contents group Z project tracks window. And now in tracks contents group tracks header group. Go back to track header. In tracks header group. 19 items track 503 bass chorus underscore one track six Steinway grand piano group. You see it added a bunch of MIDI files to the project. Track 7 Steinway, track 8, track 9 Steinway Grand Piano. Just going to jump to the end of this window. Track 19 Steinway Grand Piano, group. Yep. So we got a bunch of MIDI files in here. It went from track 6 to track 19. And another thing you can do is copy MIDI files from Finder and bring it into the project. However, with MIDI files, when you copy them from Finder, it's going to put it on the track that you already had selected. So if you want it on its own track, you might want to select that track first. So I'm going to do that right now with command option S to create a new MIDI track. Track 20 classic electric piano group. And there we go. We got that selected. So now I'm going to go back to finder. Finder, finder, drums and bass, window, column view, browser one item selected. Drums. And now I'm just going to find that MIDI folder again. So actually I'm just going to hit M to jump to it. MIDI folder. There we go. MIDI. So if I go in here. List one item selected. D piano two mid. Standard. D piano 2, that's what I want. It's so the command C to copy. copy D piano 2 mid. Now I'm going to go back to Logic. Once again, Command Tab. Logic Pro 10, Logic Pro 10, Z Project, Track 20 Class, Track 20 Class. And if I via space here. Cancel button. Also import tempo information. This will replace. Same deal. Wants to know if I want to import the tempo info. I'm going to do yes again. Import tempo. No, default. Import tempo button. There we go. Via space. Pre now in Z Project, Tracks, Window, Track 20 Classic Electric Piano, Group. And like I said, this project is set to the same tempo, so it shouldn't really make much of a difference. Track 20 Classic Electric Piano Group. And so you see it brought it in as on track 20, but it didn't change the name. So if I wanted to change the track name, I could do Command Option Ship N again. Track 20 Steinway Grand Piano Group. And it just changes it to Steinway Grand Piano because that's, for whatever reason, what the MIDI file is entitled, um, as far as logic is concerned. So... There's one other way to import files and that's using the file browser. When you use the file browser, it does put it on the track that you have selected. So you might want to select the track first. I'm going to jump back up here. Track 1 ZNV NP2 underscore 2. Track 2 Z. Track 301 drums underscore 1. Track 402 bass first. Track 503 bass chorus underscore 1. Group. All right. So I want a new track after that bass chorus track. So I'm going to press command option A. Track 6 audio 8. Group. All right. So we got that track selected. So now I'm going to press the letter F to bring up the file browser. Show hide browsers. And 
Now, if I stop interacting with the tracks area, out of tracks header, out of out of track. Got out of the tracks area altogether. I'm gonna be alright. Project selected. Radio button. You see, one of three. this is where the file browser is. Um, and if I press F, Show tracks group. You see, it goes away. Tracks group. Tracks group. And if I press F again, show hot table. No selection. It comes back. Out of project. So preview unchecked. Project group. So I'm gonna interact with this project group. Half empty list view menu button edit menu audio file all files media project tracks group. Project selected radio button one of three. So we got projects media radio button two of three media all files radio button three of three and all files which is what we want. Press all files selected radio button three of three. Project and media are a little too limited. Project for example is only gonna let you see what files are in the project already, but I want to bring something in that's not inside the project already. So I'm going to do it from Finder, basically. So I selected all files. All files, group. All files, group. Interact with this. In all files, group. Forward, dim, button. Computer, button. And I'm going to select computer because that's the option I want. That basically gives us a list of all the files and folders on our computer. Press computer, button. Home, button. Project, button. Table view, selected, radio button, one of two, column view, radio button, two of two. And I'm going to change the view from table to column. Press column view, selected, radio button, two of two. And I just prefer column view, I find it a little bit easier to navigate. I have finder set up the same way as well. Path, list zero item selected. Search files, add search filter button, browser. And the browser is where we want to find our files. So we're going to interact with this. Macintosh Catalina, data, Macintosh HD, dot projects. DAW projects is the folder that I keep all my projects in. Project. Column two of two. RVP two. Screencast. B lead wav. And that's the file I'm looking for. B lead wav. So I'm gonna stop interacting now. I have that file selected. Out of browser one item selected. Preview. Check. Check box. Action pop up menu. Fifty nine point one. Add button. And via space on add. And that just brought it into the project. So if we stop interacting with the file browser, actually I'm gonna hit F to hide it again. Check tracks group. And we're back in a tracks group. So I'm going to interact with that. In tracks group, tracks time ruler, tracks header, group, tracks contents, group, tracks header, group. Oops, tracks header is what we want. Interact with this. In tracks header, group. 23 items, tracks 6 lead underscore 1 inches, group. And you see we have B lead in the project. And the nice thing about the file browser is that it will import it onto whatever track you want, much like the file import dialog does. But it will also name that track based on the file name much like copying from Finder does. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Also in the file browser, you can select multiple files and import them at the same time. All right, so that's pretty much it. So as an overview, the different ways to import files into Logic, you can use the audio import dialog, which is Command Shift I. You can copy from Finder and paste directly into the arrange window here in Logic. Now, one caveat about copying and pasting from Finder is that if you've already copied and pasted files from, you know, say measure five in Logic to measure 10 in Logic, the copy and paste from Finder will not work. Once you copy and paste files from somewhere in Logic to somewhere else in Logic, you can't copy and paste from the Finder anymore. To get around that, you'll have to save the project, quit Logic, relaunch Logic, and once you relaunch Logic, you'll be able to copy and paste from the Finder. So that's why you can either use the import audio dialog or the third option we covered, which is using the file browser. All right. So hopefully one of those methods will work for you. Uh, if you have any requests for future tutorial, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And if you have any tips or tricks of your own that you want to share with the community, please feel free also to leave those in the comments. Until next time, happy recording.